What is up, Coaster fans? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be discussing uh, what will be King's Island 6 roller coaster. And my sister's playing a game in the background, if you hear that. Let's see, what will be King's Island 6 roller coaster? Well, King's Island is a top tier Cedar Fair Park, so I'll get something every two to three years. I'll get something big. As we saw, they got Orion a good coaster. Since we're going to say it's a good coaster, but I'm going to call it a good coaster. And that's what they got in 2020. And I feel like we could be doing something maybe 2023. I don't know. But let's see what let's see what my suggestion or my predictions are. Before we do that, we have the space. Uh, so I always circle the four areas. We obviously want to see the vortex spot. There's another spot, and there's some space behind Banshee. Oops. There's some space behind Banshee. That's in the beast, so there. That's Orion ending the vortex spot. And then you saw this area right here. In this area in the front, they could put something here, or they could use this here and here and here as like a, a water park span. I'm not here because the creek is right there. But still, or I think this is where Metro Express is. You know, they could use this area as a water park expansion. But I'm not sure how much land they own. Yeah, as you can see, it's right by the ice in Interstate 71, but... Let's go to what I think will be coming next to King's Island. So my first suggestion is a Mock Rides Multi-Launch. This is something that I think will be coming to another Cedar Fair Park after Carowinds. Got the Mock Multi-Launch. And... Oops, sorry. And after the success of that, I think that's what they will be getting next. Another suggestion, although Cedar Fair said they didn't have major projects, so maybe not a $26 million roller coaster. Because this was Carolyn's second largest investment. Yes, it's they were. The largest investment, I don't believe that. It's Fury costs $30 million. This one costs $26 million, but still, that's a big investment. But they could all, Kings Island could also use the terrain with this, with the vortex plot. And they could, I don't know, theme it somehow. Uh, remember vortex, I guess, if they placed it in that spot. But. I don't know. But let's see what the next, what is the next, my next prediction. I have an RMC. Um, I, have, oh. I have Jersey Devil Coaster in Wicked Cyclone, Six Flags Great Adventure, and Six Flags New England. I go to either ways. Oh, uh, the RMC Single Rail, which would be the cheaper option, or both of them really. Expensive, but they can either go with King's Island having four wooden coasters. I think they want to go with the topper track. No, I don't think they want that. They could go with the ground up hyper coaster or the single rail coaster. Either way, both of them would be pretty great additions to King's Island. And they would have to worry about capacity issues with the single rail, not as much as uh, the um, hybrid. But with the, the longer trains, that could be solved. But there's some more suggestion, and I don't. And the, the one I, this is why I put this last, because I don't know if King's Island would do this one, but let's see. 
Hey, Gerson Finney is my third and final pick. And I have Hang Time, a monster. Hang Time was the first infinity coaster to become the seat of Fairy Chain. I think this would go to some of the smaller seat of Fair Parks. I mean, like Eurofighter. I mean, like the Valley Fair and Michigan's Adventure. Eurofighter would be good there. And Worlds of Fun and Infinity Coaster. Something like Hang Time. Monster, because Monster costs $9 million, and Angie costs $24 million, so, yeah, it's like a good price gap. Because the Girl Sour Coasts, they're pretty inexpensive. I'm not sure in the cost of hang time, but Monster costs $9 million, so that would be perfect for any of the smaller parks. But I think at the smaller, the smallest part, your favorite like Valley Fair, Michigan's Adventure, they would be off with the Euro Fighter. But Kings Island, maybe. I think Cedar Point would get like, like a big, your big Infinity Coaster to break the impression and maybe the, the drop, the the steep drop breaker. Maybe take it from the Smiling, take the drop from TMNT Shell Razor. Which I would like them for to do that. <laughs> Which I would like for them to do that because I like to break records and I think this would be a good record breaker. They kind of have a lot of weird elements to so they could confuse everybody. And as I said in the first what will be video, I said visually confusing. These are kind of visually confusing because you can't really, this picture, you can't really follow the track. Because you can see it kind of goes down, and then you're lost, basically, until, until you can follow it from the drop all the way to here, and then you can follow it to the end. So yeah, hang time is pretty easy to follow this one. The Smiler, oh gosh. No, so... So when will King's Island get their next roller coaster? Well, probably not 2022, maybe 2023 or 2024. But I think it's gonna be 2024 because I don't think Cedar Fair wants to do it because if Cedar Point is eating something in 2023, yeah, I don't think they're gonna open a coaster at their two of their largest parks in the same state, which is well. I mean, it would bring everybody to Ohio. You know, they could go to Cedar Point, then go to Kings Island. That would be a pretty smart marketing idea. But I'm not sure. I'm not really sure that it would be possible, but we'll see. See, we don't know what Cedar Fair is doing. So, thank you for watching, and check out my YouTube, CS6 Guy 2005, and CS6 Guy 2005 for anything terrains and reptiles, 2005 for anything wildlife, ghosty bridge trains for ghosters, bridges, and trains, and all the other stuff that's happening in my life, and also check out reptiles, 2005 for anything wildlife, and little tidbits about that. I right, say so thank you for watching and see you next week for Bridges in the Mississippi River, Illinois, Minnesota, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Iowa, Illinois. Sorry about that. I just messed it up. And the next what will be video is will be Dollywood. Yeah, what will be Dollywood's next roller coaster? I just wanted to spread it out but yeah uh, thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye bye